Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and welcome back to more Let's Play 007 Agent Under Fire. Um, ugh, so, I had to go get a drink real quick and I almost forgot that we still are using discs for this, so I almost forgot to uh, get a new one and that would have been really bad. <laughs> anyway, um, so like I said, we we're about to do bad diplomacy. Um, the evidence you retrieved in Hong Kong contained nine vials of human blood samples, as well as photographs of the British Embassy in Romania. Eight of the vials were labeled with the initials of the world's industrial nations. The last vial was marked Griffin. The computer database search turned up a man named Reginald Griffin serving as a British diplomat in Romania. Griffin's behavior has been the subject of an internal foreign ministry report. He seems obsessed with protecting a secure room in the embassy, an area normally outside his jurisdiction. We want you to infiltrate Griffin's secure room, find out what he's hiding, and access his computer records. Because he's a high-level diplomat, this must remain a strictly covert investigation. We're not sure of the extent of the conspiracy, so trust nobody. Remember, too, that the guards are not suspected and may not be harmed. On that note, 007, I provided you with a dart gun that will tranquilize but not harm the guards. I've also issued you a pair of Q-specs which can be used to see hidden doors and hatches. British embassies rely heavily on these security measures. Here's what's very, very interesting about this mission. They say the guards are not to be harmed. You can run up to them and smack them in the back of the head, and that will actually get rid of them permanently. So with a dart gun, but you won't use up any ammo. And because you don't use up any ammo, you don't worry about losing ammo. And you get more points for it. <laughs> I don't know why that is a thing, but that's what I heard about, and it has actually worked. So yeah, you want to make sure that you remember to only use the you know, move and rotate. By so that to use the other thing, you know. Uh, let's see if I don't know what to do in this case. I don't think I do. I also don't remember how much, um... Whoa, that's interesting looking. I mean, it won't show up in the video, but interesting looking all the same. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I mean, they don't actually shoot you too much. Uh. So yeah, there's no need to worry. Remember right, there is something in this room that we want to grab though. Okay, there they are. So you can get more darts for your trouble if you come into here. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here, so let's go ahead and move down. There we go. But 
yeah, see, if you don't do that, I think they can actually get back up with the dark gun. I don't know if that's like this game or the other one. Oh yeah, and here you want to be very careful. So as you walk around here, there's like bottles. If you walk near them, you'll make noise. So you actually want to try to sneak your way through here without running into any. I'm trying to remember how to do it. Is it you run and jump? My friend showed me this, he was like, if you do it this way, you can get through here without any problems. Alright. Crap. You hear that? Sound the alarm! Ah. Anyway, that uh, was annoying. Like I said, I know there's a way to do it, but I can't remember what it is. Oops. I'll be right there. You know what, I'm gonna just shoot them all. I wanted to do it because I used to be able to do it just fine. I don't know why I can't do it now. Yeah, it does get rid of them. And I guess as long as you're accurate, it doesn't matter. those for later though. saying that. that that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, so that's only that guy. Let's just try crawling through. Like I said, I know I've done it before. <laughs> so that's why it bugs me a little bit that I can't get it done this time. <laughs> Alright, for this, what you want to do is do this. And then that. 
You can just jump over the lasers, yes, but you get more points if you do it that way, so. I forgot he was outside the window. Uh, actually, let's see if I can't find it on my own. I remember it being right there. some points too because you find darts I thought there was like armor in here yeah there it is but I already have some apparently sounds like <laughs> all right then jump out the window Griffin's quarters the only way is up Stupid ladder. Now, I think there is actually a um, thing that you have to do with this later, but I don't think you do it here. If you try doing anything with it right now, it doesn't do anything. I think this is the right one to go into. Yeah, this is, gives a very funny cutscene. These are private quarters. Sorry, miss. I'm with the new security team sent by the Home Office. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. Really? Shall I show you the way? <laughs> yeah, you get a key card, but I don't think it actually does anything for you right now. Can I even do anything with it? Wait, that's a human blood samples? Wow, nice. Hmm. Oh yeah, you use the passcode generator on um, oh yeah, what do you use the key card for then? Because I remember you, you get the key card for something. Oh, we might need the dart gun. Ah, more darts. Yeah, apparently the amount of darts you have left over determines something. Oh yeah, that's what the key card's for. I found Griffin. He's been tortured to death. Looks like an interrogation gone bad. No, sir. Your eyes don't deceive you. Unfortunately, I am the last thing they will ever see. Take the password generator back to this computer. Despite our recent setback in Hong Kong, our plans will not be disrupted. 
you must receive and deliver our defective merchandise to Malprave Industries in Switzerland. Okay. I believe to escape, we just gotta go this way. I think if you do have the alarm sound, you still fail at this point. So, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I truly do not mind taking my time for this. Where'd that guy go? You uh, run out of bullets, that's it, you know. I think that might affect your score. Oh, okay, so this is where we were before. I love that guy. <laughs> he just like pops in, you just like boop, and like I'm out. Let's see how we did. Seven out of seven, eleven out of eleven. Fifty-eight thousand points. Cause I took forever in a day. Oh, I thought one of the 007 moves was to get through that room without triggering any of the things, but apparently not. Cool, okay. Well, let's see. Did we unlock anything? No. What was the score needed for that? Shit. 70,000? Holy crap! I kinda wanna put the, uh... Kinda wanna, like, do this again, uh, at some point, and, like, do it on the harder difficulties. Cause you get more fun things to do, I think, as well. <sighs> Alright, so let's do, uh, cold reception. I mean, we have time, why not? Shocking news, 007. We've conducted tests on the man who attacked you in the embassy. He was more than just an imposter. He was an exact genetic duplicate of Griffin. In short, a clone. The message you retrieved from Griffin's computer mentioned a company, Malprave Industries, based in Switzerland, a leader in bioengineering technology. It fits the evidence that Malprave Industries is involved in the illegal advancement of human cloning. Bond, your mission is to infiltrate Malprave Industries and collect any incriminating information. You'll be posing as Mr. Somerset, a journalist who has arranged an interview with the company's reclusive owner and CEO. Once inside, look for evidence that will give us an indication of Malprave's plans. Hello, 007. For this mission, we've provided you with a micro camera for photographing sensitive materials. Your Q decryptor can be used to hack into Malprave's computer mainframes. In addition, I've equipped you with a Q remote gadget. This device records electronic signals, which can then be used to remotely control the matching machine or computer. Okay, I didn't catch the rest of that, but this is the mission that you can fail in, like, not even a minute. It is possible to fail this mission, like, immediately if you're not careful. Because, I'll show you when we get to this area here. So, same as always, I like to just kind of get an idea. Alright, so here we go. Cold reception. Mr. Somerset? Right this way, please. I'm afraid your interview with Ms. Malprave has been delayed. 
In the meantime, you can enjoy the view. I already am. <laughs> M, I previously met Adrian Malbrave. She was in the embassy in Romania. Then you'd better collect your information and get out 007. You have only a limited amount of time before they'll notice that you're gone. Find your evidence and get out of the base before they seal you. Now, see, you have a time limit on this one. If you're not out of, like, if you don't finish this up in that time limit, you automatically fail. But, another way you can automatically fail? These doors. If you go up and start playing with them without knowing what to do, you can fail instantly because, um, it's as if it triggers them that you are not who you say you are, and then they immediately, like, just fail the mission. I've had it happen before, that's how come I know. Oh, look at that! I'm using the golden gun now with the silencer. <laughs> um, there is a way to turn it off, though, if you don't want to use it. Oh, shit. I'm already on the road to failure if I don't hurry up. So you want to come up to this desk, hit this button. the wrong button, so I was right. <laughs> 007, the satellite imagery should be in plain sight. Interesting. Yeah. 
Man, this is the worst I've ever heard this game. Well done, 007. You've just bought yourself some time. I've actually only had like five minutes at this point one time because I was so confused on what to do next. Actually, hold on. Where's my pistol? Rocket launcher is a good idea, but it is fun to pick it up. But if you uh, don't activate that before you do this, uh, what ends up happening is um, you um, end up having trouble with those guys just constantly coming in and attacking you. Actually, there's one more thing we need to take a picture of, actually. It doesn't say we have to, but um, we do get points for doing it. Right, W7. Now get out of there. They make it sound like you're very close, but you're not. <laughs> There's still a little bit more to this mission. But the timer, I think, goes away, it looks like. Another opportunity where it makes sense to use the Q claw. I think it actually puts you in a bad place, so it's better to just sneak on through here. I don't think there's anywhere else to go from here, so let's drop down.
Cool, he did it. I didn't have to. <laughs> Oops, blew myself up. <laughs> Makes it impossible for you to get it, so that's too bad, but that's alright. In fact, I'm actually gonna end the episode because of that, because I need to take a break anyway, and I'll be right back. Till then, everyone, bye.